Hi, I'm Mirko Datta from TypeSafe, and I'm a committer in the Scala IDE project. The Scala IDE is an environment for the development of both Scala and Java Scala applications that can tremendously improve your productivity. Features such as code completion, source navigation, incremental compilation, a debugger, and a set of automatic refactorings are goodness that we think you can't live without once you're used to have them right at your fingertips. Plus, its integration with Eclipse allows you to continue to use your current tools and add the creation of Scala code in your development flow. This screencast will show you how to get started with the Scala IDE for Eclipse. The first thing we're going to do is installing the Scala IDE. Then, we will create our first Scala project. And finally, we will see how to run it. Alright, let's fire up Eclipse. If you haven't installed Eclipse yet, I recommend to use Eclipse Classic. To install the Scala IDE, just click on the L menu item and then select Install New Software. The open pop-up dialog can be used to install a plugin in Eclipse. All you need to do is to provide the location for the update site of the Scala IDE. In this screencast, I'm using the update site of the Scala IDE for Scala 209. It is possible to use the Scala IDE with a different version of Scala, but mind that you need to provide a different update site. Now select the Scala IDE for Eclipse component and click through to download the plugin right into Eclipse. The Eclipse installer will start by downloading the plugin's content. Depending on your internet connection, this operation may take some time to complete. Finally, restart Eclipse for changes to take effect. After restarting Eclipse, run the Scala Setup Diagnostic. I recommend to use the default settings. For the best possible experience with the Scala IDE, make sure that at least 1GB of memory is reserved for the heap. As you can see, I have a little more than that, so I'll be fine. Now that the Scala IDE is installed, we can select the Scala Perspective. When using the Scala Perspective, Eclipse is customized to give you rapid access to all specific Scala elements. The workspace you now see contains several areas. On the left, the Package Explorer will list all the projects you're working on. At the bottom, the Problem View reports all compilation errors in your projects. On the right, you will see an outline of the open source file. Finally, the center area will contain the editor, which is where you will do your coding. You can create a new Scala project using this menu. Give the project a name and click Finish to accept all the defaults. The Package Explorer now shows us the project and we can expand it to see what it contains, which is a folder for our source code and a reference to the Scala and Java libraries. From the same menu we used to create the project, we can create our first program, which is a Scala object. Give the object a name Then check this item to create an empty main method. Now, inside the main method, write the traditional code for printing the standard output. Make sure to save your file, then click the launch icon and run the program as a Scala application. You should see the output of the program in the console located at the bottom of the screen. If you want to find out more about the Scala IDE, visit our website. In the website, you can learn about all the available features, access the user documentation, read the tutorials, and much more. Thanks for watching and happy Scala coding!